Changa 2 in Brook Park. Well, what's up? Welcome back to Trick Tutorial Tuesday. And today we have a special episode, How to Grind on a Scooter. So there are pretty much, I want to say, one, two, three, four different kinds of grinds that I can think of at the moment. And they can all be done backside and frontside. And if you guys don't know the difference between frontside or backside, click the link in the cards. I'm pretty sure it's up on the right, right there, okay? That'll take you to the video, the last Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, that will explain frontside and backside to you. And so now, with the knowledge of backside and frontside, we're gonna learn how to grind. So first off, we're gonna start with the easy one, which is a feeble. So with a feeble, as you can see, when you go onto the actual coping of a box of a quarter pipe, you wanna jump, get your front half of the scooter over the coping, have the front wheel and the front side of the deck land on the coping, and then your back wheel is gonna be pretty much parallel to the actual coping, and your front wheel is gonna be turned, so that way it's facing the path you wanna go. If I were to feeble, you want to make sure your back is down, you want to make sure your front is up, and the way you want to go, the direction you want to travel, is where you should be pointing your wheel. So if I were to jump on a feeble, and I want to go down there, my wheel's facing here, you're going to slide out, you're going to die, rest in peace. Can I get a rip in the chat? Woo! But, if you actually jump on the feeble, back wheel down, front wheel up, and you turn your wheel the direction you want to go, when you start moving, you're going to travel. And the same goes for a front side feeble. Now this, of course, is when your toes are facing this way. It's the same premise. You want to still turn your wheel the direction you want to go. And when you start to travel, you will go that direction. And so feebles aren't that bad. You just want to get a decent amount of speed, turn your wheel, commit to it. It's not that bad. You will learn pretty soon. Get out there, go try. And so with most of these grinds, you want to actually use the dropouts of your deck. Now mine, they're pretty cached. I, I got some new parts and I'm waiting to put those on. But the time of me filming this video, my dropouts are cached. But the reason you have a dropout on your scooter is so that way it actually, on the coping, it will lock in. It's so like the dropout will actually lock into the side right here and it will allow you to stay on the grind to continue moving. And so the next trick we're gonna move on to is a smith. Now this is a weird grind to be honest. Most people don't just smith. It's always linked up with combos like Nose Manny Smith, getting feeble, do some crazy stuff. I'm not John Dev, which I was. But Smiths, they're not that bad. Pretty much, it's the exact opposite of the feeble. So with the feeble, front wheel's up, back wheel's down. Smith, exact opposite. Front wheel down, back wheel up. And with this, the turning of your bars kind of doesn't matter because it's actually not even pretty much involved. You just want to make sure your back wheel is pretty much as straight as it can because your wheel, even though the back one can't turn, it's going to be guiding you through the grind. Now, you're not going to be able to grind an entire hubba doing a smith for too long because you can't really control it. But all you got to do is you just got to jump up, make sure you land on that smith, grind a little bit, and get a steep jump off. And then same goes for front side, same thing. You want to jump up, front wheel down, back up. You want to get near the coping, try to get some speed, and decently jump off. Not too much I can tell you about a smith. It's kind of one of those oddballs. All right, so next up on our list, we have lip slides. Now there's two of these, front side and back side. So I'm gonna start off with the front side lip. When you go for the front side lip, you wanna have a decent amount of speed. You wanna jump and bring your back side of your deck all the way over the coping. And you wanna make sure that you're pretty much at a 90 degree angle, like a little bit less. And you wanna use the back side of your deck to slide across coping while your front wheel just kinda hangs off. This is one of those more difficult grinds because when you're doing it, you wanna make sure that you're actually grinding pretty much halfway on the deck. If you're too far forward, Right here, you're gonna crash off, your wheel's gonna touch something, or your back wheel itself could actually touch the ramp you're grinding and you're screwed. Or if you go too high up, you're either gonna hit some sort of nose blunt, some sort of crook, you might get stuck like this, and then you die. So, what you wanna do is keep it halfway, balance it halfway on the deck, and that'll keep you balanced as you're going across. It's like a seesaw. Like a seesaw. Thank you, Brendan. Amazing. Woo! And so next up, we have the back wheel which is the same premise, you just want to go up backside, you want to come up, lift your backside and your deck up, let it hit the coping, and then slide through here and make sure that you're again leveled out just like the front side lip slide. Woo! We are just nailing through grinds, Brennan, Jesus Christ, oh my God. Last up, but not least, one of my favorite things to do is 50-50s. Now this thing is actually, it's kind of scary, to be honest. Now on a ledge like this, it's not too bad, because you know, the stakes aren't very high if you fall down. But on rails, on high ledges, it's gonna be scary. And the reason because is you have to actually go up on the coping, you have to jump, and with the side of your deck, with these grind rails that you have, you want to grind on these rails and pretty much nothing else. So when you come up for the 50, you're going to want to jump up, get the deck rail onto the coping, and from there, you just move. Now this is going to be kind of difficult because you need speed and you for sure need commitment because one, if you're not committed, you're just going to continue to do this. 
you're gonna fall off, and if you're on a high ledge, rest in peace. Oh my God, can I get a like for a prayer in the comments? And so pretty much what you wanna do is get enough speed, you wanna come up, jump, get the 50, commit to it, because once you're on it, you gotta stay sturdy, and it's pretty good. And same goes for backside. Backside, you gotta make sure the heels are coming up towards it. You wanna just jump. Make sure you commit to try to get those grind rails on the side of it. And from there, you should be smooth sailing. All right, pirate. Um, oh, here, you know what? I didn't do uh, five balls. I'll do those as well. Amazing transition, Brendan. All right, so, and I forgot these actual two last grinds. How could I forget these are my favorite things to do, except I can't do them because of my deck dropouts. They are cached. But I'm gonna tell you guys with a 5-0. So it's basically an ice pick, if you guys know what that is, but it's without pegs, which I do not have. I'm just using my dropouts. They are boxed, but they are pretty much squished in. I'm screwed. But what a 5-0 would be is if I would come up and just like the 50-50, instead of using both grind rails, I actually only use the back of it. So I were to grind like I'm doing a manual on the coping. This is actually pretty hard to do, I'll be honest with you. Because not only do you need balance, you need commitment, and you need accuracy. Because if you miss, you're going to die. And if you're not committed, you're going to die. I mean, 10 out of 10, you're probably going to die doing this, because I will. But with backside, you just want to make sure you're coming up to the coping. You want to make sure you get that fight. Look at that. See, that's what's going to happen, kids. But you want to come up. You want to get that good lock in. Grind for a little bit, and just get a good jump off. The same goes for the front side coming up. Toes facing the coping. That back of the deck is going to be grinding while nothing else is touching. And then you're going to steezily roll away like you're a god. Woo! All right. Well, we've nailed every grind I can think of besides crooks and nose blunts, which if you guys really want a tutorial for that, let me know in the comments below. I don't want to make a tutorial because I can't even do that. But if this video helped you out, make sure drop the world's fattest like on the video. Fattest like, dude. Overweight like on this video if it helped you out drop a comment down below if this helped you out If you think you got them now, let me know in the comments if you learned them from watching the video And let me know what trick you guys want to see in the next trick tutorial Tuesdays and until next time Subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a single video on the channel, but yeah guys That's it. So I'm gonna get out of here and um, I'm just gonna just gonna dance out of here dude. Peace. Thanks for watching the video Hope you guys enjoyed Make sure to drop a like Leave a comment down below Subscribe for more. Follow me on social media. Alright guys, until next time.